tormenta. What did he just say? He said there's a storm coming in. Hey, Viano Tormente. What did you say? He said there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, Ari. There is a storm coming! There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. There's a storm coming, brother. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, Dr. Suresh. There's a storm coming. There is a storm coming, a black and terrible storm. There's a storm coming! I sense there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming! Alice says there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. Storm's coming. A storm coming soon. A storm is coming, Frank says. A storm is coming. Our storm. A storm's coming. A storm's coming. There's a fucking storm coming, Dad! Storm's coming. Storm's coming. Storm's coming. The great storm is coming! The wind that overturns the land! The storm is coming. There is a storm coming! Hey, Cody! There's a storm coming! The storm is coming. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, Frank. There's a storm coming, kids! Let's get inside! You can't sleep outside, there's a storm coming. Storm's coming. Oh, you all better get your umbrellas out because there's a storm coming! Come on, Ori, give it to him! There's a storm coming! What? There's a storm coming, buddy. There's a storm coming. Any questions? What is it all about? Well, we're a company that produces 100% organic human sleeves. You're probably wondering what's a human sleeve. Well, if you gather around, I can let you know what we do here in full details. So here at Psychosec, we've been able to achieve true immortality by taking your human consciousness and storing it on a device called a portable stack. It's implanted in the base of your neck and it collects and stores everything that makes you you. Every memory, every emotion, every sensation, everything you've ever experienced gets stored on this little device. You can see it here on the screen that's about to come up. You guys just follow me. All the information is stored on this device and can be digitally transferred from one sleeve that you currently occupy and to the sleeve of your choosing. Follow me. I'll give you a little bit more information. Awesome. So this is our portable stack device. It's a small device, like as I said before, that's implanted in the base of the neck. It's a small incision, and it records everything that you've ever experienced in your life, from when you were a child to now. And we store it in a file called DHF, which is a digital human frame. Everything that makes you you is on this device. Now, all that information can be transferred over from the sleeve that you're currently occupying into the sleeve of your choosing. Now, the sleeve of your choosing design. So if you'd like blue eyes instead of brown eyes, if you like those rock hard abs but don't want to go to the gym for them, if you want to be taller, if you'd like to be darker, all these things can be achieved here at Psychosec. If you'd like to follow me, continue our tour. And just around this corner here is our final re-sleeving process. Come on in.
Shalom, shalom. This is Eldad Yo for One Nation, One Power. Coming back to you, brothers and sisters, one more, one more time. The Most High has granted me grace to be able to come back to you, brothers and sisters, one more time. No, they ain't got me yet. <laughs> All praises to the Most High, Ahia, His Son, Yeshia, and to the Ruach Hokadesh, the Holy Spirit, giving honor where honor is due. Uh, once again, Get your Bibles out. Don't believe nothing I say. Don't believe one word that comes from my mouth. But I'm simply today going to read from the word of the Most High God. If it's in the word, it deserves to be heard. If it's not in the word, it don't deserve to be heard. Oh, I need to say that again. If it's in the word, it deserves to be heard. If it's not in the word, it does not deserve to be heard, my friend. Now, blow that dust off your Bible and let's go for a ride today. Because I'm going to show you something that the Holy Spirit showed me. Come on out of here. That's how I get down. That's how I rock with the Most High and the Holy Spirit. And I pray that you do too, brothers and sisters. So, go with me to Psalms 119. Psalms 119, blow that dust off, open up your Bible, go along with me, don't believe nothing I say, how we got in this mess we in today, we used to go to church with our Bibles closed, hello, so open up your Bible, go with me to Psalms 119, we're going to start at verse 162, and then we're going to hit the book of Matthew, you know that book that people hate, you know that, 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 that they call that that New Testament, it's all one book, brothers and sisters. They need to be taught. Hello. Psalms 119, 162. People that talk like that need to be taught again. Because somebody somewhere taught them wrong. Psalms 119, 162. You need to go get that video that I got one book. I got a video on here called One Book. You need to watch that. Because the New Testament is just quoting from the Old Testament. It's not new. Psalms 119, 162, let's go. I rejoice at thy word. I what? I rejoice at thy word. I what? I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. Can you imagine just for a minute how you would react if you found a million dollars? <laughs> If you found 10000 cash, <laughs> and nobody else was around to see you when you found it, <laughs> how happy would you be when you found 5000 Some of us are 1000 <laughs> Some of us are 100 This is a $100 bill. You find 100 you're going to rejoice. You know that feeling when you find something like that of great spoil? That's the feeling we are supposed to have when we read the Word of God. That's what you see in me. Some of you out there are trying to figure me out. That's what you see in me. When I read this word, it's something that happens on the inside of me where I come alive. Before I'm reading this word, I'm just an ordinary Joe. If you see me in public, you wouldn't even think what you're seeing now is me. Why? The Spirit of God come on me when I start teaching the word of God. That's where the strength comes from. That's how you're supposed to be operating. Hello. Verse 162. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. Boy, I'm happy when I read this thing. Verse 63. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. I hate what? Lying. We got to get ourselves to that place where we hate lying. And that we know that if we tell a lie, it's going to negatively end up affecting somebody else. So why lie? And if you notice that when you tell one lie, you got to tell a second lie to cover up that lie and a third lie and a fourth lie. So don't even lie. You save yourself a lot of stress when you don't lie and you just tell the truth. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. But thy law do I love. But thy law do I love. I want to say that again for all of these law haters out here. But thy law do I love. Oh, I love thy law. Yes, I do. Verse 64, seven times a day do I praise thee 
because of thy righteous judgments. What? Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. How many times a day? Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. How many times a day? Uh-oh, that make us feel bad, don't it? He said seven times a day he putting his hands up. Oh, thank you, Mosai. Seven times a day. How many times a day do we do it? That's something to think about. Let's keep going. Verse 65. Great peace have they which love thy law. What? Great peace have they which love thy law. What? <laughs> The reason I got to laugh because you guys don't understand. I was a Christian pastor for 10 years. I preached against the law. Hello. And had to repent of it. But now, great peace have they that love thy law. For all these law haters out there, we got peace. Come on out of here. That passes all understanding in our house, in our homes, on our children. Come on up out of here. Great peace have they that love thy law. I just made somebody's stomach turn out there. You say that word law keeping to a Christian, boy, they stomach turn, they throw up. You think exorcism is about to manifest. <laughs> Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. What? And nothing shall offend them. And nothing shall offend them. Have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? According to Psalms 119, 165, you should not be offended with the word of God. No matter how it comes forth, as long as it's coming forth in its purity and in its holiness. And I want to add something right fast. Have you guys noticed that uh, I'm not standing in front of the liquor store with a can in my hand? Have you noticed I'm not using the computer like standing in front of the liquor store? With my hand out, asking you for your coins. Yeshua the Christ said, you shall know them by their fruit. Have anybody ever seen me come on any of these videos with my hand out? No, no, and no you won't. Why? Most high take care of me. I don't need your money. That's why I can preach the word like I do. I'm not begging. Hello for your money because I'm the real deal. Hello. It's my job to bring forth this word, whether you like it or whether you don't like it. This word of God come to separate the wheat from the tear. That's where we're going today. But I want you to understand something. This video you've seen, it's in the Bible. Somebody asked me, brother, can you can you show me uh, in the Bible where cloning is? I'm going to show it to you. It's been there all the time. But like I said before, unless the Holy Spirit open your eyes and show it to you, you read right over it. How many times have we read right over things in the Bible and then come back a few months later and read it again and get something out of it? Like, man, I read that before. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's the Holy Spirit revealing it to you. The Bible is sealed and is being opened by the Most High in His time. So verse 65, Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them, and nothing shall offend them, and nothing shall offend them. There is nothing I can say out of this Bible that will make them mad. All they're going to say is yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yeah, yeah, he got me. He got me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. It's right out of the word of God. That's all. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't supposed to be arguing and debating the word of God when I'm reading it to you line by line. What, what can you argue with right here in verse 62, 162 to 165? Nothing. Why? Because I gave you the Bible. I'm just the mouthpiece for it. Now let's go. Where do you want to go? Go to the book of Matthew. Let's deal with this cloning. Come on up out of here. Matthew chapter 13. Let's deal with this cloning that a lot of you out there don't believe in. A lot of you don't believe it. Why? You don't understand that Satan came down to the earth. And he was already wise. He had all the, he, he knew the technology. He was the most favorite cherub. So you don't think that uh, Satan came to earth and gave man technology? Well, if you don't believe that, just go watch uh, 
Just go watch Transformers. <laughs> They're telling you in Transformers. Optimus Prime is Satan. Come on up out of here. And they call evil good and good evil. What they doing? They working with man. What? Behind the scenes. Let's go. So Matthew chapter 13. Let's get into this clone. Because uh, it's some fake people out here right now. Whether you want to believe it or not. Matthew chapter 13. But they got a flaw about them. Just ask them do they love God. See they ain't got no soul in them. If they don't have no soul in them. Just ask them hey what about God? What about your shy? What about Yeshua? See what they say. Watch their face. Because it's a demon operating in that body. So what they're going to do? They're going to get mad. Hello. That's a clone. That's one of the identifying markers of marking a clone. Say, hey, do you believe in God? I don't, I don't believe in no God. What, ooh, and looking at you mad. Hello. Be careful. You don't need a sword. Get you a katana sword. <laughs> Because these clones are real as me and you. Hello. And they out right now. They putting them out. They putting them out in mass production. Come on up out of here. You got to think an Antichrist is going to be. He's going to be a clone drone. <laughs> going to have the very demonic spirit of Satan in it. So let's go. Matthew chapter 13. We want to start at verse 37. Because we want to we want to see if, if this cloning stuff is in the Bible. Matthew chapter 13, verse 37. Let's go. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. Now you got to know the book of Genesis. Did not God say, let us, plural, meaning more than one, Make man in our image. This is not talking about just the New Testament. This is going all the way back to the beginning. Who sowed the good seed? The Son of Man was there in the book of Genesis. Let us, plural, meaning more than one. And to get the proper breakdown of that us, to put the Holy Spirit there, you got to go to uh, Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, wisdom tell you that she was there too. At the beginning. So you got let us make man in our image. Now let's read this verse again. He answered and said unto them. He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The field is the what? The world. The field is the what? The world. Now we're not talking about a church. We're talking about the world. What God say about the world. And if you love the world. Huh? The love of God is not in us. So the field is the world, the world, the world. I want you to get that in your head. The field is the world. They're talking about the whole world, not churches. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. How do you have what? But the tares are the children of the wicked one. We're going to read this real slow because in here you got two types of tares. And we're going to identify the human tares. And then there's another tear in here that offends. Let's break it down. Verse 39. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be at the end of this world. Verse 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend. All things that offend. All things that offend, all things that offend, and, 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 why am I repeating that? And, and, them which do iniquity, and, them which do iniquity, all things that offend. Satan got children? How did Satan get children? 
Cloning, brothers and sisters. Cloning. Satan can't claim credit for no child that's born from a mother on planet Earth. That's all the most high. Once again, Satan cannot take credit for one woman giving birth to any child on planet Earth. That was the design and that was the will of the Most High. When he told woman that she shall be, bring forth children, she shall bear children with pain. That is the Most High. How does Satan make these tears? Well, I found something interesting. The word tear in Hebrew is zarab, zarab, 2215. Zarab, zarab, tear, zarab, 2215 in the Hebrew. It means to flow away and then it means wax. So this tear is made out of what? Wax. And then I looked over in the Greek. And in the Greek, there's another word, zazanion, 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 which means a false grain, a false grain. I want you to see if you got a, a real grain, then you make a false grain. The false grain looks identical to the real grain. And if you put them in your hands, you couldn't tell the difference unless somebody told you. Brothers and sisters, your cloning is right here in Matthew chapter 13, verse 37 to 43. Let's read verse 41 again. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, all things that offend, and, and them which do iniquity. This and them which do iniquity is ordinary people. This thing that offends, who is it offending? The Most High God. Why is it an offense to the Most High God? He making fake people. And it's real. And the sad part, they putting it in all of the movies. That's how why the elite think we dumb. They think we the most stupidest people on the planet. They putting it, it was in the Matrix. It was, it, they got movies out now called Clone. I posted one on this page called Clone. Where they showing you that they're making other humans. Now, the spirit goes back to the one they gave. But you, you are a soul. Go to Genesis 2 and 7. You're not a body. So these fakes that Satan is making, they're not the real deal. You are. Go to Genesis chapter 2 and 1 verse 7. You ready? Let's go. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And man became a what? A living soul. And man became a what? A living soul. Satan can't do this. All he can do is take the memories from an ordinary person. He can't take the soul. So what these people are selling, your soul, which is you, when you die, talking about they're going to transfer you to another body. No, your soul going to go back to the one that gave it. That's right. Because that's what we are, living souls. We're not bodies. So what they're trying to do is make you think you're a natural body. Hello. Yeah, they can take your memory. You guys better open your, your eyes. A lot of these entertainers have been replaced. I know one person, hello, that I knew when I was young. He's not the same person. I know a preacher who's not the same person. Why? Because I know. I, you got eyes to see? Open up your eyes, Israelites. They're replacing these people with fake people. And you know they fake. You know how you know they fake? Just pay attention how many people they got around them. <laughs> you know, when you're real, you can go places by yourself. <laughs> you can go places all by yourself. You ain't got to have a team of handlers all around you. <laughs> all around you. Watch, just pay attention. Pay attention when these clowns come out, these rappers come out. You got some of them telling you in your face. 
You got one out there right now. Show people that he's had a, a double, a body double. How you get body doubles? <laughs> How do people get body devils? Come on up out of here. All the way back with Saddam Hussein. When they was going after Saddam, Saddam Hussein. They told everybody he got body doubles. <laughs> We're not sure if we got the right one. <laughs> Ain't go right over our head. Why? We too busy getting high. We too busy drinking. We too busy trying to... uh uh, make money that, that, that that's about to be toilet paper. That's right. Your cash money in a minute is going to be toilet paper. You ain't going to have to go buy rolls of toilet paper for all of you out there that's stacking cash. Uh, it will be soon toilet paper. <laughs> You'll be able to put it in a picture frame and hang it up on the wall as a memory. <laughs> Remember when. <laughs> so this is Elder Ayo from One Nation, One Power showing you uh, in Revelation chapter 12, if the Bible tells us that Satan come down to the earth having great wrath, he mad as hell. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, for he knoweth that he got but a short time. That's Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 12. He got a short time. So he's mad as hell. So what are he doing? He removing people. Who running the earth right now? Satan is. Ain't no government on this earth running themselves right now. Why do you think all of the military movements? Why do you think Russia getting all of this technology, high technology? Where all this coming from? Why America moving troops? Everybody moving. And some coming. All you got to do is pay attention. Some coming. The military alone telling you some coming. They moving tanks here. They moving weapons there. They moving this here. You think the fallen angels in charge? Yeah. Where's the bullseye? The bullseye is right here. <laughs> the bullseye is right here. <laughs> Why? We are something special. Hello to the Most High. And Satan don't like that. He never did like it. As long as we were asleep, still playing football, baseball, basketball, being bloods and crips, celebrating Christmas, you know, two Christmas trees, three Santas. You know, celebrating all these pagan holidays and all this. They, you notice everything was fine. They were still killing us, picking us off. But we were so asleep, we really didn't even pay attention to that. Now you're awake. Now you know who you are. Now you know who your people are. Now you know that you're the chosen people. So now the devil mad as hell. Hell yeah, he's making copies. <laughs> when you sell your soul to the devil, don't you understand He, you belong to him now? And he don't want you. Why? You got free will. You might get on the live TV show and start running your mouth. That's right. He want everything done covertly. So what he doing? He replacing them. Look at some of them rappers. They ain't the same people. Only people can't see that is uh, you got to be blind to Stevie Wonder to see that one. What's that one boy? What's that one boy? I can't think of his name. Got the ice cream cone on his face. What? Well, you, if you think that's the same man, something wrong with you. <laughs> uh, uh, go, go fast. Somebody need to, you need to get the blinders off your eye. They replacing people. That's right. They replacing them. And then the families don't know why they don't get in contact with them no more. I don't know why Stevie don't call us no more. I don't know why he don't come over no more. Well, he went to Hollywood, so, you know, he's hanging out with the Hollywood crowd. He completely disowned his mama. He completely disowned his daddy, his brother that he was real close with. He don't even talk to him no more because it's not him. We need to wake up, man. We so we claiming we awake. And these people replacing people and cloning people. And you got our people that's supposed to be spiritual. Can't see it. You spiritual. You supposed to be able to see it. He that is spiritual judges all things. You supposed to see it, brothers and sisters. These people are doing stuff that's so wicked in the eyes of the most high God. And some of us out here shaking hands with it. You see these people bringing out the cloning technology. 
What people are promoting it? Was that a little young brother? Was that a young sister? Oh my God! They're using us like a wet cheap rag. Here we are, the chosen people, the holy people, and we introducing one of the most abominable things in the universe. He got us introducing, Satan got us introducing his creation. That sounds about right, don't it? Take the chosen people, the holy people, who were made like Adam, who got living souls in them, and let's get them to introduce Satan's creation, clones. It don't get more colder than that. Go back and watch the video and see the young brother and the young sister, who the chosen people of the Most High, bringing into the world and introducing Satan's creation. Let's read Matthew 13 again. Go back to Matthew 13, and I'll finish up. I hope this is answering that brother's question about the cloning. Matthew 13, 38. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And down in verse 41, he shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, 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 and, and, and them which do iniquity. Satan got children. There go your clones. There go your clones. This is not talking about the most high's people that got souls in them. This is not talking about Gentiles that got souls in them. Hello. This is talking about the clone drone. That's what I call them. Clone drone. That's right. People that look like us. But if you just ask them, what about the Most High God? Do you love him? Watch their reaction. I've seen a few of them on TV. When they ask them about God, they got mad as hell. I don't believe in no God. Yeah. Uh-huh. We got you. As soon as you say that, as soon as you, 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 they don't just say, well, I don't believe in God. They say it with anger. Because there's a demon in that. Wake up, brothers and sisters. We're in the last days. Shalom.